Hey everybody, I'm Blair Gable. I'm a professional photojournalist and an iPhone photography enthusiast. Today I'm in the Riviera Maya next to the Caribbean Sea to talk to you about taking underwater photos with your iPhone. Here are a few things to keep in mind once you're down there. First is that you need underwater housing. The second is that your touchscreen will not work underwater. The third is that you want to find the best quality of light underwater that you can and that the color of the water will ultimately affect the color of your final photos. The underwater housing I'm using is called the Hitcase Pro. It is shockproof, waterproof, and has a built-in fisheye lens, which will let me take very wide-angle photos once I'm down there. Remember that once you're underwater, your touchscreen won't work, so you'll need to use the volume buttons to take photos, as your on-screen capture button will be disabled. The first things I look for underwater are the spots with the best natural light. The built-in flash in your iPhone is simply not powerful enough to be of any use, so you need to find the spots with the best light in order to make the best exposures. Photos taken in this beautiful water will have a blue or a greenish tint to it. The more water between me and my subject, the stronger the tint will be. Subjects that are farther away will have a stronger tint, so it's important to get as close as possible in order to capture the most accurate colors. Be sure that your smartphone's battery has a full charge, as your screen will be active the whole time that you're shooting underwater. You may also want to turn off your screen's auto lock, or you may find yourself making frequent trips to the surface to unlock it. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had making it. You can visit learn.corel.com for more videos, as well as tutorials, contests, tips, and ebooks. You can also subscribe to the Discovery Center channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching.